I recently updated the hotend on one of my printers to the Creality Spider V3, and at the same time, I bought a budget hotend to put on my other printer to see how they stack up. One of the keys to getting a good quality print is to make sure that you are printing at the right temperature and speed. If you try to print too fast, the material won't have enough time to melt and you'll get some interesting artifacting on your prints. An upgraded hotend lets you print more materials and faster. When I bought these two hotends, the Spider V3 ran $60 on Amazon and the budget hotend cost half of that. And thankfully, installing one is not too difficult of a task, unless of course you finish up and go to put the silicone sock on and realize you can't because you installed the hotend backwards. When I installed my hotend properly, I was looking forward to testing. It did occur to me that this hotend is taller and would therefore need a new Satsana air duct, as well as an adjustment to the Z-stop, which is a quick task, so I knocked that out and got it out of the way, and then proceeded to do a test print just to make sure that everything was in order. While that was happening, I started the print of a new air duct that fit this hotend. I'm not really sure why I decided to focus on filming that rougher part of the print though. But the print finished, I put the new duct on, and we're good to go. I haven't been using these hot ends for a long time, but I have been doing a lot of printing with them. So I might need to update in the future should something happen, but at the moment, I can't see a huge difference between the two of them. Both were on printers that have been upgraded with the Almighty Clipper, and they print insanely fast. The Spider V3 didn't require any changes to my air duct, but the budget hot end did. The budget hot end also uses the longer volcano style nozzles, while the Spider V3 can use the standard nozzles, which you probably already have laying around. I did end up buying another one of the budget hot ends to put on my CR10, but I've really got no complaints about the Spider hot end. Both work great, and I've got links to both of these products in the video description.